Hi there, this is Jason. Um, this is a quick tutorial um, about table cell formatting in terms of colour. Um, this is actually a special request from someone who asked a question on my blog, Julie Millen. Um, she watched the tutorial about how to make one of these uh, menus in your middle page um, that allows you to click and only bring up that unit. Um, so you can basically scroll around through your site using this menu at the top and that's the only unit that will actually pop up when you click on it. Um, so, you know, as useful as that is, um, she, Julia, I assume you worked out how to use that, but you were wondering how to make these cells here different colours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, I'm going to turn editing on um, and then I'm going to go into this menu to play with it. Now you can see I've got different colors here and I've got a border around each cell. Um, now the way to do it is, this is the trick, if you um, click in one of those cells and then you right click, it gives you the option to format the cell and in this case I'm going to choose the cell here and where it says table cell properties. Right? So you go, you you click in the cell you want to change the color for, you right click, you go down to cell, you go across to table cell properties. Now where um, Julie was saying that when she tried to change the color of one cell then all the cells in that table uh, changed to the same color. Um, so what you've got to watch out for is this drop down menu down the bottom here. Um, if you click on it you'll see there's uh, three options there. One is update the current cell, update all the cells in a row, and update all cells in that current table. Now if you only want to change the color in the cell that you clicked in, you would choose update current cell. But if you want to change all the colors in a particular row, you would choose this one, update all cells in a row. So I'm actually going to choose that one just to show you what happens if you choose to update the color in the whole row. I'll click on that and then I go to advanced and here are my border and background color options. In this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change now the color the way I use it is I use the named colors um, and in this case I'll change them all to steel blue and I'll update now you see it says update all cells in a row update you notice how all those cells in that top row of the table turned blue. Now if I right click again and go to cell table cell properties um, what it does is it actually remembers the it, well no, not in this case it doesn't um, I want to change this back to the green that I had but I only want this cell the cell that I cut that I uh, clicked in so I'll update the current cell go to advanced click on background color go to named and go to that green that I wanted for that one and if, as long as I only update the current cell, that's the only one that will change. The same for this one here. So I'll go to table cell properties, I've got it in the current cell, go to advanced, click on my colors, choose the color that I want, and you can do the same for your border for each of these cells. Uh, I've got one color for, that, uh, for all my cells at the moment, and that's fine for me. As I said, the trick is to make sure that in this drop down menu, um, that you've got current cell and then you update and you notice how that's changed to green okay so um, I don't need to save that because I've already I've just put it back to the way it was so um, it could be a matter of your browser as well as the version of Moodle that you're using but you need to click around in those options to make sure that you're only updating the current cell in that table uh, the one that you clicked in and right right clicked in um, or if you want to make the whole the whole menu one color then you would do the whole row or the whole table and then every, every, all the formatting you do will affect that whole table. So that's how you change the color in individual cells and I hope that's helpful Julie.